Um, and on, on that note, uh, with supplements, with these detoxes, with these appetite suppressants, like what are your thoughts on this kind of stuff? And when these things are not, when these things are not backed by like the FDA doesn't like, they're not, I don't, I don't know what the actual term is. You might know the phrase, um, mm -hmm. like these have not been checked by the FDA or what have you. Oh, yeah. They're not regulated. Mm -hmm. Okay. So people are just throwing whatever they want on a label and running it. Yeah, you and I can go make a supplement tomorrow and no one would care. So that's kind of the thing to just be mindful of when taking any kind of supplements. And um, I typically recommend even vitamins, you know, those aren't regulated. So typically looking for something that's been third party tested. So if we go and make a product and we say there's X, Y, and Z in there, someone else will come and look at it and test it and say, yes, this is actually what's in here. So there's some third party who has nothing to do with our product. They come and verify it. So that's kind of, if you know, the, the biggest thing I would recommend when looking for any kind of vitamin or supplement. Yeah. Cause you, you have these, <laughs> you have this like burn in the morning, burn in the evening, you have it, the appetite suppressants, and then you have pre-workout with a ton of niacin in it and all kinds of other stuff. Mm -hmm. um, what, like, is, is there anything that can be done outside of the third party testing? Like, do we just not take supplementation? Do we just not look at micros? Like, do we not care about it? If we're not going to have something that's tested? Yeah, I mean, I so the third party testing is the biggest thing if you are, you know, dead mm -hmm. set on doing some type of supplement. Um, I, I typically don't really recommend them, honestly. Um, but you know, that's something, especially when it comes into the like fitness world, you know, that's something that like a sports dietitian may have more you know, is more like equipped for that kind of thing than I am. But, um, typically with my clients, I don't really recommend supplements. No They're supplements at all, of course, but no omegas, no nothing. So, I mean, it's best to get it from your food, but you Not know, wrong. yeah, you can take it in a supplement if you need to, but usually the people who are conscious enough to take it in a supplement usually get enough in their diet. <laughs> Yeah. Um, those who are not ignorant, um, <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. The amount of times that you really don't need a supplement, you don't need to buy, you know, $40, $40 bottle of capsules. Uh, if you yeah. know what you're, if you know what you're doing there, yeah. <laughs> that yeah. definitely makes, 